Hey, this is Julie Bling. How are you today? You ready for a fun project that goes together much easier than I would have ever expected? And it's as cute as can be. Look at that. Watch this. So cute. So this project I saw online and it was this direction with this cat here and it was kind of popped out. So I made it like that. I was from Peggy Merwin. So I was doing that. But when I went to stand the card up, no matter what I did, it wasn't good. So then I went to Peggy's website. Hers is more of a box card so it has a base to stand up on so I kind of copied the layout and then I turned it around and this stands up just fine and it's really cute when it's sitting there on your table or desk so this is cute but doesn't work okay look at that cat and look at the look on his face he is so mischievous the paper that's in the holiday catalog. This is um, celebration free paper. This is, believe it or not, oh, just a minute. This is peach, the other side. And here's a celebration paper. It's the hand penned. This is the one you get for free. Oh, and then the sparkly. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? That is called Black Glimmer Paper. Oh, okay, so this pumpkin. This project is all about the stamp set Clever Cats. And there's a pumpkin and a fill it inner so you don't have to color it. But if you've watched my videos at all, you know I try to embrace abstract, but I have a hard time with it. It doesn't fill it all in. So the stamp is ready to go. You can do that if you like and you don't have to color. But I think I'm a little bit more of a color it in type girl. And I know this kind of matches a little bit too much with the paper, but I think it makes the cat stand out more. Look at this little guy in the pumpkin. Look at the look on his face. Hey, crazy cat. My tail says it's twitching out. And then look at him right down here. Green hat. Okay, lots of fun here. So let's get started. I'm making a project. Glimmer paper that just gets attached. Just gonna do that. You know, touch it once, right? And that will go right here. This is for the inside. And I'm not going to attach this yet because I'm going to stamp on it first. Because if I do a whoops, I could still flip it over. This one, I'm going to put words on it. Not quite sure yet. But the black can be attached to the grape. What is it? Gorgeous grape. Okay, and this is for the card inside. Uh-oh, wouldn't you know? Okay, things happen. If you have one of these, this is how you change it. I like this thing because it goes forever. having a hard time with the um, the other adhesive. Look at the picture. That helps too. Boy, put on the spot and I get all messed up. Spin it around. Okay. 
Okay, off and running. So in a few days, Tuesday, today is Friday, Tuesday, we're going on vacation. We have waited so long. Going to Cabo and imagine this. The kids are interested in going with the old people, us. So you fold this in half and then we're going to fold this in half again. Might be because we're paying for a lot of it, but still. So looking forward to it. It's been a long time. Before COVID, we um, kind of had planned it. And then it didn't happen. Okay, so I will attach this. This glimmer paper attached to a little black liner. That goes right on here. And I purposely cut it so that there's bigger borders. So you could see that colored paper a little bit better. And I didn't know, should I do green or grape? Or I was even thinking mango. But because I use this designer paper, the mango is out of the question. Or pumpkin pie. It, it went out the window because I really like those little dots on the designer paper. Okay, so after I stamp, that's going to go in there. This, I'm going to hold off for just a minute. And this will go here. Okay, so let's start doing our, our little, I was going to say people, it's not people. So how about, in here, I like the broom. I haven't used the broom yet. So I'll stamp that. I'm doing it in memento because I'll add a hint of color onto the broom after it's stamped. I could take markers and color with this part and color that part, but I'm trying to not have it too busy. Okay, which cat? The box cat? Ooh, the cat. This cat can sit on the broom. Okay, eventually he'll sit on the broom. How about a pumpkin for the inside? And how about a hat? So the hat I'm gonna do in, this one's purple, how about purple? Grape. And unfortunately there's no dyes for all these, so yeah, you get to color in stuff. Okay. Good, good, good. So I'm going to cut these out by hand. Oh, something fell on the floor. Must be a cat. Okay, so the cat, I colored, I put a little bit of um, smoky slate. And then I use the color lifter just to give it a little bit of definition. So when you color a bold stamp, many times you don't get full coverage. If I hold this up, you might see over through here, there's a still like a few little freckles showing through. On this one, see right there? So what you do is I'm going to take black, light, basic black. And color most of the cat but I'm not going to get too close to the line because if I go too close to the line I mess up, might mess up the line and when it dries it's very similar to memento black stamp pad 
but that fills in all of those light little spots. I wish you could just fill in the spot and that's it, but you see that through the memento black. So see how I'm going close to the edge? Do you hear that? That's the dog snoring. Wow. He must be exhausted. That dog sleeps all the time. Okay, and then for the hat, I just colored a band on it. I think it looks a little bit better with that because naturally the stamp just has the buckle. So I colored a band on it and then I colored this as if it were um, silver. So I did in smoky slate. Okay, and then to do the pumpkin, this pumpkin, I'm kind of wishing I did it more dark. So this time I'm going to put more of the, and this is Calypso Coral, the same color as the designer paper. So what I'm doing is allowing spots for like the highlight to be on here and the rest of it I'll color. Um... <laughs> do, you, do you hear bow? Oh my gosh. I'll color um, this coral dark. I'm, I'm just laughing at the dog. I don't know how he could be so sleepy. He slept all night long. He's been sleeping all morning. Maybe he heard me talking about him. He just stopped. Wow. Almost done with pumpkin. I love these markers. No streaking. And then they blend so good. Okay, maybe I should have had that done in advance. But that's okay, it's done now. Everything is done. Okay, so let's put some words on here. Well, I guess I should see how this is gonna, he could be flying on here. <laughs> look at the look on his face. Maybe his hat could be flying off. Now it's kind of on his back. Okay, so I'm thinking Maybe the words here. How about, my tail says it's twitching hour because his tail is here. That could go right in the middle at the bottom. Okay, off to the side a bit. Yeah, I planned that. Okay, and I might put a few bats on there. Let's see about placement. I'm going to stick this one down, the broom flat. Oh, it could be at an angle. Hold on, kitty cat. And then kitty can be on dimensionals.
Okay. So he can be here. Oh, I didn't pull the paper off. I'm used to him being magic dimensionals. Okay, and this is going to go on here. I kind of want to put some bats on here because he's in the sky. Bats, there's two different size bats. There's an itty bitty one and a big one. It's because there's room over here. This one will get the big one. And then the itty bitty. And go there. And how about... Getting a little busy. But I keep adding more. Okay, that's it. So now this can go on to the front. Okay. Oh, his hat, too. That, I'll put that on in a minute. So the pumpkin, somehow on the inside. So this is going to go here. So to put this on, the first time I put it on my sideways one, I put it on with adhesive. doesn't work good. So I'd suggest liquid glue. So I want it just this portion. Definitely no glue there. So... Liquid glue, maybe a little bit more generous than you normally would, just because this glue needs to soak down into the glitter glimmer paper. Okay, it'll take just a minute to dry. So the hat, you know, that kind of blends in too well. It might go on the pumpkin. Pumpkins like hats, right? And I'm just going to let that dry by putting it here off to the side. No pressure on that. Oh, the pumpkin likes the hat. Okay, so what should I say on the inside? I have, my tail says it's twitching hour. How about, oh, this is cute. Really, I've been this cute all my nine lives. Okay, bats. I want more bats. Bat. I haven't done any spiders on this one. There's a big bat. Good, good. Okay, so I will assemble this part here. You know, I'm going to do a dimensional. I know it's the inside, but I'm just in the dimensional mood today. And the hat, well, I guess the hat needs a dimensional. I'm allowing room for it to sit on top of the pumpkin. See right there, no dimensionals. Okay, it'll be a little crooked. That, that was the plan. Okay, so done with stamping on here. So I can attach this to the inside. Okay. So what about this? Definitely bats. My tail says twitching hour. I've been this cute. Ha ha Halloween. Something about, what are we celebrating? Happy Halloween. At first I thought this dark gray paper you couldn't see, but that's perfect. Okay, bats.
Excuse me. Okay, look at that kitty peek in there. Oh my gosh, I got it perfectly on the line. I'm lucky. Lucky. I thought that was Big Bat, but that's that's good. Okay, and maybe one spider. So the spider, there's a web right here. So there's the little web. You can probably see it better right here. And if you want to make it longer, just do two of them. And do your best to line it up. I could see the top one's going this direction a bit. But, you know, that's okay. It's good that there's this busy background. Spider. Okay. Oh, on the, on the um, broom, I colored this smoky slate, the grain and the wood, and through the bristles down here, I colored it with crumb cake. Just to give it a hint of color, I want the kitty to be the, the main attraction. That turned out cute. Okay, I think, I think this is it. Look how cute is that. I love these. So this is Jilly Bling. My blog is jillybling.com. And in a few days, I will post all of the products that I used here and links to my store. Um, but it'll take me just a few days to do that. Um, and then until next time, um, I hope you have a great day. Bye.